Honorable Dr. Virginia Alvin Boyer, Parliamentary Representative for Papua, and Minister of for the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labour, and Gender Affairs, His Excellency Mr. Chen, Ambassador to Sevilla for the Republic of China, Taiwan, Ms. Sheila Abrams, Deputy Permanent Secretary for the Ministry of of the Public Service, Mrs. Marina Julia Joseph, Acting District 1 Education Officer, Ms. Karen Reddy, Principal of the Balmano Secondary School, Mr. Ian Nicolitz, Vice Principal of the Balmano Secondary School, Mr. Daniel Lee, Chief of the Taiwan Technical Mission, Ms. Francilia Solman, Project Coordinator for the Caribbean Digital Transformation Project. Mr. Simon Chen, Project Manager for ICT Digital Cap Capacity Building Project, Taiwan Technical. Mr. Ray Chu, Third Secretary for the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Mrs. Sherilyn Monroe Gustav, Chief ICT Officer of the Ministry of Public Service. Mr. Marlon Naruz, Director of Public Sector and Modernization. Say welcome to everybody. Oh, not forgetting, of course, our students and graduates of this Digital Literacy Camp. Welcome to all. Welcome to our graduation ceremony for our Digital Literacy Camp. 2023. And to our friends from across the world, I say, Daja Hao Wang In. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Um, in this era of te technological advancement, it is essential to understand how to manipulate these machines. For this reason, we all have come together to equip our youth with the necessary tools. And as a teacher of the Babano Secondary School, I say to all parties involved, good job. Xie xie and thank you. I hope that this initiative is not a, a one-time thing, but it becomes a growing relationship between the Babano Secondary School, the ICDF, and of course, our um, public ministry of St. Lucia. I won't speak too long because we have many remarks to come. So at this point, I would like to invite, I, well, I welcome the remarks by Ms. Francilia Solomon, the project coordinator of the Caribbean Digital Transformation Project. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to adopt the protocol established. However, I'd like to welcome my minister, Dr. Foyot, Ambassador Chen, and a very special welcome to the 30 enthusiastic graduates before us here this morning. A good Friday morning to you, a season's greetings and best wishes for the season. It is truly an honor to stand before you this morning as we celebrate a transformative effort that brings together the Taiwanese Technical Mission, the Babano Secondary School, the application of information and communication technology in digital capacity building projects, as well as the Caribbean Digital Transformation Project. Together, we have put together this amazing camp with the objective of empowering the next generation with the skills needed to thrive in our rapidly evolving digital world. This initiative forms a critical part of the Caribbean Digital Transformations Project's commitment to digitizing the delivery of education. Having provided 2,210 tablets to grade six students, 2,200 laps, laptops to form one students, and more recently, 20 smart classrooms to primary schools, this camp sought to provide tangible skills to our nation's youth. 
This digital literacy for young adults Christmas camp is, wasn't just a camp, but a pivotal step towards universal digital literacy. Having targeted young adults ages 13 to 15 at the lower end of the secondary school level, equipping them with the skills, knowledge, and necessary skills to navigate the ever-evolving technological landscape. This camp was not just merely theoretical, but focused on practical, hands-on experiences that directly apply to the workplace, making it an excellent initiative for our youth. The camp guided 30 energetic, talented, young individuals through extensive training in digital literacy. Topics covered were such as coding, artificial intelligence, and the use of productivity tools. Participants received training and were fully immersed in vital applications, tools, and training that characterizes the digital age. Prioritization was not just on technical skills, but there was also a focus on fostering digital citizenship, responsible use of the internet, prevention against cyberbullying, as well as values which extend far beyond the digital realm. The camp, by our measure, was indeed a resounding success, one that we will definitely build on. I would like to close by thanking our partners who went above and beyond to make this camp a reality in a relatively short space of time. To the Taiwanese mission, Taiwan Technical Mission, who made the funding possible, the application and information communication technology project. Thank you, mm -hmm. the Babano Secondary School Management and staff who mobilized the logistical um, arrangements. Thank you again. The Caribbean Digital Transformation Project looks forward to working with you, the facilitators, and all who contributed to the success of this camp. Our deepest gratitude we extend to the participants who showed steadfast dedication and commitment to learning and personal and um, professional development. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Best wishes for your future as you pave the way for a digitally engaged St. Lucia. I thank you. Wonderful remarks by Ms. Solomon. Now welcome Mr. Ian Hippolyte, Vice Principal of the Babano Secondary School to provide further remarks. Good morning, everybody. Please allow me to adopt the protocol that has already been established. Um, I was going to print my welcome remarks, but we're in the digital age, so I decided to use my device to read off my welcome remarks. Welcome to this graduation ceremony, a celebration of digital literacy and empowerment. In the interconnected world, digital, digital literacy is not just a skill. It's a cornerstone for personal and professional success. Today's event is testament to our collective commitment to embracing the digital era, understanding its maneuvers, and harnessing its vast potential. As we continue to embark on this journey together, it is essential to acknowledge the transformative power of digital literacy. In the age where technology is the heartbeat of progress, the ability to navigate, understand, and leverage digital tools is more crucial than ever. It will be, as will be depicted by the snippet of the students' work that you will see shortly. I extend my heartfelt thanks to the Taiwan Technical Mission, Caribbean Digital Transformation Project, and the Babonu Secondary School, whose support has made this event possible. Their commitment to promoting digital literacy is truly commendable, and we are fortunate to have them as allies in this endeavor. To all our participants, your presence here over the past week underscores the importance that you place 
on continuous learning and growth. After all, it is your vacation and you are here. Let us give the participants a round of applause. <laughs> to the participants, I say to you, embrace the lessons learned, ask questions, network with fellow participants, and make the most out of this timely initiative. May this week's discussions and activities propel us forward in our digital journey. Thank you for being part of the Digital Literacy for Young Adults Christmas Camp, and let's continue to embark on this exciting exploration of digital literacy together. I thank you. And now, it is my honor to invite Mr. Peter Chen to give his remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, bonjour tout le monde. Today I'm really glad to come to Babano again, and especially to this smart classroom. And I'm really glad that this smart classroom was well uh, utilized. Do you like this smart classroom? Yes. yes. I don't feel that uh, nice. So, do you like this smart classroom? Yes. Okay, that's what I do. And I'm very happy to witness the conclusion of the five-day digital literacy Christmas camp for our young generation in Babno. And I would like to extend my happy congratulations to all students here. Your dedication and hard work will pay off. Could we put our hands together to all our participants? I firmly believe that the digital and media literacy are skills we should possess in a world undergoing rapid technological evolution. And I'm pleased to see that the students cultivating these skills from a very young age. It's not merely a program, it's an opportunity for our young minds to strive in digital dynamic landscape. Additionally, it also emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for internet usage. Understanding concepts related to online privacy protection and also preventing cyber bullying. I look forward to seeing all participants harness the skills acquired here and reach a higher excellence. Here I would like to thank the tireless efforts of the Division of Public Sector Modernization, Taiwan Technical Mission, and Babano Secondary School and Coordinator a project coordinator, Francilia Solomon, for your hard work and your relentless efforts were the key factors that make today's achievement possible. And my special thanks to Honorable Minister Dr. Virginia Aberfoyo, your leadership and guidelines and guidance make people and the communities in Babano, as well as the country, more resilient and prosperous. Could we give our Honorable Minister, a big round of applause. And thank you for his devotion to the community. And my embassy will continue to work with Honorable Minister Albert Poyo and, all, and the government of St. Lucia for the betterment of all the peoples. And that's, I would like to take this opportunity to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merci. Yeah. Now we will have our remarks by Honorable Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot, Minister for the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor, and Gender Affairs. I'm here in a dual capacity as parliamentary rep for Babono and as Minister with responsibility for the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor, and Gender Affairs. And the Department of the Public Service is the partner with which this project is implemented. So we have been doing quite a bit of work in the technological area. And for you who are here today, you are actually benefiting from your share of that activity. I also felt it was necessary that I'm here today because in the Babono constituency, we have only one secondary school. As we know, secondary schools are not community schools. It's not a school for only Babono children. Children from all over St. Lucia come here to get their secondary education. 
So we are there to host them and make sure that they get the right skills. Um, I am very pleased that 30 of you, 30 participants, will have benefited from this program. And the Babono Secondary has benefited tremendously from the technology that is provided by the government of St. Lucia in collaboration with other partners. Um, for example, I was here when we presented the laptops. I was here when we opened the smart classroom we are in. And I've told the children, only smart children go to the smart classroom. <laughs> okay. And then today we are here for the Digital Literacy Christmas Camp closing ceremony. So you all are well on your way to taking advantage of the digital um, uh, program. It is with great pleasure that I address you today as we embark on yet another transformative initiative. Building on the successes of our past endeavors, the Digital Literacy for Young Adult Christmas Camp stands as a testament to our commitment to universal digital literacy. And you would have understood the commitment of this government to education. The Christmas Camp, a collaborative effort involving the Caribbean Digital Transformation Project, application of information and communication technology in digital capacity building project, Taiwan Technical Mission, and the Babono Secondary School represents a pivotal step towards digital empowerment. And one of the things I want to remind you is that we have partnered with a digital giant in the world, and that is the Taiwanese. They have done exceptionally well. And they, they will take us to the highest level. Um, no, no matter how small we are or how far back we are, but when you align yourself with the giants, you must get to the top a lot faster. So I'm very pleased that we are partnering with our um, Taiwanese um, partners. Our ministry, and by extension, the government of St. Lucia, has been working diligently to ensure that its citizens do not get left behind in this rapidly evolving technology age. We recently had a graduation ceremony where over 100 hardworking vendors of St. Lucia received certificates for digital literacy training they receive through the Caribbean Digital Transformation Project. So the vendors now are actually using technology, ready to use technology in the vending. Because sometimes when the tourists come, they, they do not have a um, machine for um, credit card or debit card. So they may lose a lot of sale. So now they have stepped up so that they take advantage of this opportunity. In addition, the government, through the Ministry of the Public Service and the Caribbean Digital Transformation Project, has distributed numerous laptops, as indicated by the coordinator earlier, and tablets to students and personnel in the public sector. It is also engaged in various ongoing initiatives, such as the Mobile Data Center, ELAND Registry System, Innovation Lab for Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, the smart classrooms for primary schools. These efforts in conjunction with our digital program, workshops and community initiatives underscore our collective commitment to building a digitally empowered St. Lucia. And I'm still working hard to see if we can provide some computer access for the people in the Babuno community. We have a computer um, center in, in Gara. We know some of the schools have um, computer um, um, classrooms, but we also have to provide computer access to the public. And we want them to use the technology to access government services, because you know government is in the process of providing over 100 services online. And therefore, there are some people who may not be too digit digitally inclined and therefore, if we provide a set that, that service somewhere in Babulu, they can access it and do not have to go to castries and take the long lines and waste a lot of time. So we are hoping that we can use the Babulu Multipurpose Center 
and we are getting some good news coming from a particular direction. I am not going to blow it up too early, that we may be able to provide that facility. And we are also providing um, Wi-Fi connection in the gap. And uh, that is part of my vision for, for the Babono community, because um, this area here in Babono is basically the genesis of Babono. That's where Babono really started. And if you look at the church, the church is, was established in 1947. The primary school that was there, all these were there. And later on, all the other services came around that. So you have the, the Babano Multipurpose Center, which was built in 1987. And then this secondary school is over 20 something years here. So really and truly, here is almost like a hub where we can develop a lot of services for the people as they come from the 18 different communities in Babylon. As we gather here for the digital literacy for young adult Christmas camp, the young people here, what we are doing here is for you. You have the future. It is essential to recognize the continued collaboration of our partners in orchestrating the camp and preparing our young people for the future. The funding provided by the Taiwan Technician Mission through the application of information and communication technology in the digital capacity building projects ensures that we continue preparing the next generation for the adoption of digital tools. I have said it and I will continue to say it that in 2006, when the government of St. Lucia introduced universal secondary education, I said, where was I? Because during my time, there was not enough secondary schools for me to go to. So I went to Babono Primary School, Babono Infant, Babono Primary, and I started teaching right there. So I never got a chance to go to a secondary school. So you all are very fortunate. Now you all even have smart classroom. You could imagine if I had these classrooms. <laughs> okay, so I applaud you, the young persons. I congratulate the teachers. I know it is holiday time, and yet still, they are putting the effort to ensure that you get the skills that you deserve for you to be better citizens. Let us put our hands together for the teachers who make sacrifices. Uh, the principal and the uh, other technical persons from the different ministry, from the ministry who actually carry out their duties. I'm very proud of them and they continue to make their minister proud. That's why they came here this morning to make sure. I, speak. <laughs> um, I would like to conclude by saying that the digital literacy for young adult camp, Christmas camp, is not just an event. It is a movement, a catalyst for future initiatives geared at preparing our precious youth to take full advantage of the opportunities abound in today's digital world. It sets the foundation for a digitally literate future where our youth are not just users of technology, but creators, innovators, and leaders in the global digital landscape. One point I want to stress is that we must make an effort to bridge the digital divide in that there is a huge gap between the older generation and the new generation. And we have to find ways of getting the older generations to be digitally literate so that they can communicate better with our young people. That is an area we must not forget. Or else what you will find is that you will find some level of resistance to change because they do not appreciate and understand the value of technology. So we have to find a way to get our older folks and I have raised it with my, um, my coordinator for um, digital, digital program in my ministry that um, many years ago, in 1985, mm -hmm. we were doing adult literacy program. And we had the older persons come into school in the evening. And I used to teach them to, to read and write. Um, I don't really know the, the Mandarin, the Taiwanese language, but at least today I remember Cheche. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so these people would come and they would try to write their names and how to add and subtract. And it was very, very tedious. And I was instrumental 
in conducting the adult literacy program in 1985 at the Lager School. But today, with technology, we can get these people to be literate by going on the screen at their homes and present a program and they use their computer and right there they begin to read, write and do everything else. So we have to explore that opportunity. Thank you to our partners, our sponsors, as I mentioned, um, the, the, the government of Taiwan, our other partners as we see them, ICDF, we have um, the Babunu Secondary School, you are a major player in that, and then the Caribbean Digital um, Program. I want to thank um, all of you for our dedicated teachers and most importantly, you, the students who are at the heart of this initiative. Together, let's make this camp and the ending of this exercise a stepping stone to a brighter, digitally empowered future for all of you. And let me seize this opportunity to wish you all the very best for the Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you. And let's look forward to a bigger, better, and brighter 2024. Thank you. Uh, my name is Miss Tanika Edwin. For those who don't know, I was the teacher slash facilitator for this week. And for the past four days, the students have been engaged in a number of ICT topics. Um, ICT is the abbreviation for Information and Communication Technology. The topics covered include, like previously mentioned, digital literacy, productivity tools like Google Sheets, Google Slides, and also coding and artificial intelligence, just to name a few. The students are now going to display some of the knowledge and skills that they acquired this week. Some remarks by Ms. Our DEO, um, our acting DEO, Ms. Joseph. Now I am seeing our students are able to analyze data. Students are able to use the technology to create graphs, games, to be responsible online. You know, as an educator, sometimes you get some videos and you, I'm so disappointed. And now I can see that. We have students here that can be very responsible, being analytic before they post anything on the internet. I'm seeing that we have our students are educated, that they know what to put that will affect their future employment. They make good decisions. You know, they can use information carefully online to guide their future. And I'm really thankful on behalf of the Ministry of Education that we have given the students the skills needed to be effective in the 21st century teaching and learning environment. I want to thank um, the project manager, Miss, Mrs. Solomon, for this opportunity, the Taiwan Technical Mission, and most importantly, I want to thank the Barbados Secondary School teachers, principal, and staff 
for the vision. I mean, when you have a great leader, I mean, a great leader don't just do things, but you think ahead. You are proactive for the principal to see the need to implement such a program on activity in her school or in their school. I am really, really grateful that our students are well equipped and are able to function effectively in the 21st century environment. So once again, I want to thank everyone. And students, I've seen your work. And I want you to continue to use the skills that you acquire to make your lives better. Use the knowledge that you have gained to make your learning even better. So again, I want to thank everyone who contributed to such a wonderful activity this week. Thank you. We are calling on Janica St. Edward to do our vote of thanks. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Permit me to adopt the protocol that has already been established. I stand before you with immense gratitude and a sense of fulfillment as we bring the curtains down. On this enlightening digital literacy program, Today has been a culmination of shared knowledge, inspiration, and a commitment to empowering ourselves in the digital age. Firstly, I would also like to express our sincere appreciation to our sponsors and partners. Your support has played a pivotal role in making this program a reality. It is through your commitment to education and empowerment that we can continue to, to bring the digital divide. Thanks to Mr. Daniel Lee, Chief of the Taiwan Technical Mission, Simon, Project Manager, ICT Digital Capacity Building Project, Taiwan Technical Mission. Sean, Assistant Project Manager, ICT G Digital Capacity Building Project, Taiwan Technical Mission. We do hope that this is the beginning of a long relationship between the Taiwan Technical Mission, Caribbean Digital Transformation, at, and the Babono Secondary School. A special acknowledgement is due to the dedicated organizing committee who work tirelessly behind the scenes. Your planning and ex execution have made this event a seamless and memorial experience for all participants. Your passion for fostering digital literacy is truly commendable. Hence, 
I'd like to say thank you to the principal, Miss Rene, and a dedicated staff of the Babono Secondary School for their com commitment to developing the students of the school. Additionally, I would like to say thanks to Mr. Brinson Catherine, training officer, Caribbean Digital Transformation Project for his hard work and tireless trips to the school, ensuring that everything was in place for this camp. Next, I would like to extend, extend heartfelt thanks to the excellent camp facilitator who generously shared her expertise. Your insights have been inv invaluable, guiding us through the the inter the inter inter of digital literacy and ensuring that we have lived here today with a deeper understanding of the digital landscape. To Miss Tanika Edwin, I thank you. We would also like to express our appreciation to Mr. Leo for assisting during this week of instruction. <laughs> to these participants, thank you for your active engagement and enthusiasm. Your presence has added vibrancy to this program, and I hope the knowledge gained here will serve as a catalyst for positive change in your personal and professional, professional lives. As we conclude this digital literacy program, let us carry forward the lesson learned and the connections made. Let's embrace the opportunities that the digital world offers and strive to be responsible and informed citizens in the digital space. In closing, I extend an invitation to, say, to stay connected and share your newfound knowledge and continue the journey of digital literacy. Here's to a future where each one of us contributes to a digital inclusive society. Thank you all for being a part of this trans transformative experience. Wishing, wishing you continued success in your digital endeavors. I thank you.